Microsoft, in partnership with other players in the private sector, has announced plans to train at least one million Kenyans in artificial intelligence by 2027. It follows the training of over 600,000 Kenyans in the last 11 months, with over 100,000 of them being in AI certified. Here's Jimmy Mbogo with that report. The launch of the Kenya AI Skill Alliance, Kaisa, now paves the way for the private sector to enhance collaboration in AI training with Microsoft, which has been at the forefront of equipping Kenyans with AI skills. In the past 11 months, Microsoft has trained over 600,000 Kenyans with relevant AI skills. In its partnership with the Teacher Service Commission, the technology firm is set to train 62,000 teachers and master trainers, embedding AI into the national curriculum. Further, the company has reached over 230,000 learners in public TVET institutions, even as it trains another 78,000, with an additional 68,000 being certified in AI fluency. And the idea was to be able to drive engagements that can be able to, and private sector as well, to be able to ensure that can be able to drive those engagements through and customize our local learning to ensure that we are meeting people where they are. We want to be the AI hub for Africa. We want to be leading in all things AI. That's a very ambitious plan and it will require that we not just collaborate between ourselves, the people in this room, uh, or the technology companies, but really we are able to build a whole ecosystem. Through the alliance, the technology firm and partners are optimistic that they will be able to drive innovation, contribute to research in policies and create jobs, even as they seek to tap into Kenya's blossoming creative sector. So the alliance really is coming to fill that gap where we're seeing that uh, we need to be skilling for jobs. And skilling for jobs means that uh, everyone has to be involved. You have to look at how education system is responding to the needs of the industry, how industry is involving education system. It's also to provide practical capabilities in terms of environment and opportunity that they can be able to gain fully leverage on this technology. Otherwise, you're just using technology for technology's sake. Jimmy Bogo, Citizen TV, Nairobi. Actually,